Hi, I'm Dr. Alan McEachran, Director of the GeoVista Center at Penn State, a partner in the Department of Homeland Security supported vaccine R&D initiative. This video describes CrimeViz, a flexible web services based crime mapping and analysis application. To demonstrate the CrimeViz approach to space-time analysis, we built our initial prototype using publicly available crime data from Washington, D.C., data that D.C. posts to the web and updates daily. Rob Roth, a Ph.D. candidate and lead on the project, provides an overview of functionality and then discusses transition to practice in the remainder of this video. Upon entrance to the D.C. CrimeViz prototype, the user is presented with a central map of D.C., a set of toggleable data layers on the right, and a suite of temporal controls along the bottom. In the central map, individual crime incidents from the public DC data feed are aggregated to a hexagonal grid and plotted atop the Google Maps web mapping service. Hexagon aggregation was chosen here over other options to facilitate identification of crime hotspots in the geographic overview. However, our system architecture is designed so that it can flexibly aggregate incidents to any predetermined set of polygons. Users can probe each hexagon to view summaries of its contents or select a hexagon to zoom the map to its aerial extent. Upon zooming, a detailed view of crime incidents is provided, with each incident depicted by a circular Google Mapped marker. At this scale, the user can navigate around DC using the provided Google Maps widgets at the top left corner or by directly manipulating the map. Each marker can be selected to retrieve the case information provided through the DC data feed, which includes the ID, the date of the crime, the address, the shift during which the crime was reported, the police district, and for a subset of crimes, the officer narrative. To understand more about the geographic context of the crime, the user can swap the base map with the satellite image or terrain representation, as well as open the Google Street View image of the crime location. Once the Street View image is loaded, users can pan around the image to view the specific setting of the incident. The CrimeViz architecture allows users to filter by any attribute in the dataset. In the DC prototype, Controls are provided to filter by crime type, which then dynamically updates the map. Here, both arsons and sex abuses are removed from display to focus solely upon homicides. The user also can add additional contextual information to the map that may be useful for interpreting the crime patterns. The user can focus their attention upon specific regions of the city, such as a single police district, police service area, or neighborhood. The user also can view point features of interest such as police stations, fire stations, hospitals, or metro stations. Like the crime incidents, the user can select each point of interest to retrieve additional information. Finally, an input text box is provided to allow users to search for a unique case number. If the user input matches a case number in the database, the map is panned and zoomed to the location of the crime incident and the associated information window is opened. The unique search also allows users to enter a street address or intersection, which similarly pans and zooms the map to the entered location. Along the bottom of the application, users are presented with a temporal histogram showing the frequency of crime incidents over time. Users can probe each histogram bin to retrieve the frequency of crimes during the associated time period or select a bin to advance the map to that time period. When the map is zoomed to the details view, probing the temporal histogram also provides a cartographic preview of the associated time period, allowing for comparison between two periods. The default histogram view shows crime binned by month and plotted in a linear manner. Users can adjust the bidding unit to examine finer or coarser temporal patterns. 
Users also can re-express the temporal binning to generate a composite view. In a composite view, the frequencies for each individual instance of the finite set of cyclical temporal units are averaged or summed to calculate a single representative value for each of the cyclical temporal units. Here, a composite week by day is generated, which shows the total number of crimes occurring across all Sundays, all Mondays, and so on. When this composite view is filtered to show only arsons, an interesting pattern emerges. There is a clear midweek peak in arsons, with a large spike occurring on Wednesdays, and then a lower frequency occurring towards the end of the week and on the weekends. Each time the user changes the temporal parameters, a new map animation is generated. Using the provided VCR controls, the user can play through the entire time series to search for spatial temporal patterns of interest. The temporal histogram doubles as an interactive temporal legend for the animation. The architecture of CrimeViz has been designed so that it can be easily transitioned to a different crime incident dataset. We currently are transitioning technology to practice at the Harrisburg Bureau of Police for spatial temporal analysis of their crime incident records. During this transition, we have been working closely with officers and decision makers at Harrisburg to refine and extend the application in order to better support their crime analysis needs. Much of the functionality in the Harrisburg Crime is application remains the same. We are still aggregating the crime incidents to a hexagonal grid and plotting that grid atop the Google Maps web mapping service. Interaction with the overview grid performs in a similar manner as the DC prototype, with selection of a hexagon zooming the map to a detailed view plotting the individual crime incidents contained within the selected hexagon bounds. Google Maps conventions for panning, zooming, and manipulating the base map are again implemented. One key update is the inclusion of a hierarchical interface for filtering by crime type. Unlike the DC data feed, which includes only a small set of crime types, the Harrisburg Bureau of Police discriminates among hundreds of unique crime types. Each type of crime is given a four-digit code based upon the Uniform Crime Reporting, or UCR, system. The first two digits, or primary code, identify the general class of crime, while the second two digits, or secondary code, indicate the specific crime within that broader class. Users also can filter by MO, or the method by which the crime was committed. Here, we have filtered the map to show only those incidents of vandalism on automobiles that are committed by adults at nighttime. The drop-down menus also act as input search boxes, allowing users to select a specific crime type or MO quickly by simply entering the associated code or keyword. As with the DC CrimeViz prototype, the user can perform a unique search by incident report number or address. The user also can add contextual geographic information to the display, such as districts, grids, district justice units, school zone buffers, and fire stations. These layers were specifically identified by the Harrisburg Bureau of Police as important for their crime analysis and subsequent tactical and strategic response. Finally, the user can perform advanced searches by geographic unit, such as district or grid, as well as an open search returning any incident containing the submitted keyword. A second key update in the Harrisburg CrimeViz application is the inclusion of advanced temporal controls. As with the DC CrimeViz prototype, the user is provided with an interactive temporal histogram with VCR animation controls. The user also can manipulate the temporal binning unit and generate both linear and composite temporal sequences. In addition to these features, users can now choose to view a cumulative animation showing all incidents occurring during a given range of time rather than just a single temporal bin at once. Users then can constrain the temporal range using the linear filtering tools to the left side. Shortcuts are provided to show only those crime incidents occurring in the past week, month, or year. 
The user also can select temporal subsets within this linear range using the cyclical filtering tools. The time wheel interface allows users to filter upon three temporal cycles. Hour of the day, day of the week, and month of the year. Again, shortcuts are provided to filter quickly upon common cyclical patterns. Here, the attribute and temporal filtering are used together to show only robberies occurring at night during the first week of May 2010. Thank you for watching this video on GeoVista CrimeViz. For more information, please visit our website.